the bustling world of poultry farming, the quest for optimal egg production is a journey that farmers embark upon daily. Among the myriad factors influencing this delicate balance, none is more crucial than the diet of the layers. As the backbone of any successful egg-laying operation, understanding how much feed is enough for a flock of 1,000 layers is a question that looms large for poultry enthusiasts and professionals alike. In this video, we'll delve into the intricacies of layer nutrition, exploring the key elements that contribute to a healthy and productive flock. From the essentials of nutrient requirements to the nuances of feeding strategies, Join us on a journey to unlock the secrets of maximizing egg production in your poultry farm. Nutrient Requirements for Layers The foundation of a productive layer flock lies in meeting their precise nutritional needs. Layers require a balanced diet rich in essential nutrients to support their overall health and sustain optimal egg production. Here's a breakdown of the key nutrients crucial for a layer's diet. 1. Protein Protein is the building block for egg production, and layers require a consistent and high-quality source. Aim for a feed that contains around 16-18% to 18 protein, ensuring a healthy supply of essential amino acids for feather development, egg formation, and overall vitality. 2. Calcium Essential for strong eggshells, calcium is a non-negotiable component in a layer's diet. Ensure that your feed contains approximately 3.5 to 4% calcium, supporting both eggshell integrity and the layer's skeletal health. 3. Energy Layers need a sufficient energy source for daily activities and egg production. A diet with around 2,800 to 3,000 kilocalories of metabolizable energy per kilogram is generally recommended. 4. Vitamins and Minerals a well-rounded layer feed should include a mix of essential vitamins and minerals, including vitamins A, D, E, and B complex, as well as key minerals like phosphorus, magnesium, and potassium. Feeding strategies for optimal egg production. Ad libitum feeding. Allowing layers to consume feed freely throughout the day is known as ad libitum feeding. This approach ensures that the birds have constant access to nutrients, promoting steady egg production. However, it's crucial to monitor feed consumption closely to prevent overreading and obesity issues. Time-Restricted Feeding Some farmers prefer time-restricted feeding, providing layers with a specific amount of feed at scheduled intervals. This method can help control feed costs and allows for more precise monitoring of each bird's intake. However, it requires careful observation to prevent nutrient deficiencies. Phase Feeding Phase feeding involves adjusting the nutrient composition of the feed based on the layer's age and production stage. This strategy recognizes the varying nutritional requirements during pullet development, peak laying, and the latter stages of production. By tailoring the diet to the specific needs of the layers at each stage, farmers can optimize egg production and overall flock health. Supplementation in addition to commercial layer feed, some farmers choose to supplement their flock's diet with natural ingredients such as greens, grains, and insect protein. While supplementation can be beneficial, it's crucial to maintain a balanced overall diet and avoid excessive treats that might disrupt the nutritional balance. Calculating Feed Requirements for 1000 Layers Now that we understand the essential nutrients and feeding strategies, the next step is to calculate how much feed is enough for a flock of 1,000 layers. The following factors play a crucial role in determining the feed requirements. 1. Weight of feed consumed per bird. On average, a laying hen consumes about 120 to 140 grams of feed per day. Multiplying this by the number of layers provides the total daily feed requirement. Daily feed requirement for 1,000 layers will be 120 grams times 1,000 layers equals 120,000 grams or 120 kilograms. 2. Duration of peak egg production. During the peak laying period, layers may require additional nutrients to support the increased demand for egg production. This phase typically lasts around 10 to 12 weeks. Adjust the daily feed requirement accordingly. Total feed requirement for peak production will be daily feed requirement times number of days. Adjustments for feeding strategy Depending on the chosen feeding strategy, ad libitum, 
time restricted, or face feeding, make adjustments to the total feed requirement. For example, ad libitum feeding might result in a slightly higher overall feed consumption compared to time restricted feeding. Monitoring and adjusting feed intake. Regular monitoring of the flock's health and egg production is essential for adjusting feed intake. Factors such as environmental conditions, disease outbreaks, and changes in egg production rates can all influence the nutritional needs of the layers. Conduct regular checks on feed quality, and make adjustments as needed to ensure the flock receives the best possible nutrition. In the intricate dance of egg production, the role of proper nutrition cannot be overstated. Understanding how much feed is enough for a flock of 1,000 layers is a pivotal step toward achieving optimal productivity and maintaining the overall health of the birds. By focusing on key nutrients, implementing effective feeding strategies, and closely monitoring the flock's needs, poultry farmers can navigate the complexities of layer nutrition with confidence. As you embark on your journey in poultry farming, remember that success lies in a combination of knowledge, dedication, and adaptability. Stay informed, keep a watchful eye on your flock, and may your egg baskets always be full. And if you found this information helpful, consider subscribing to our channel for more insightful content on poultry farming, where we share tips, tricks, and in-depth analyses to help you excel in your farming endeavors. Happy farming!